Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to set up a CO2 drop tracker. Uh, I recently had to scrub the algae off of this thing, so I cleaned it out and uh, I need to set it up again. So uh, what you'll need is a glass drop tracker just like this. And there are different kinds out there depending on where you go. I just got this, this one off of eBay. You'll need some pH solution. This is from the API Master Test Kit. Um, this is optional. You need the vial that'll measure out uh, a couple milliliters, I think. And you'll need the reference, uh, the 4DKH, which is degrees of carbonate hardness reference standard, which will go in here. So I'll start by filling the tube up to the line. It doesn't have to be exact. And then you pour it in here. And then to get to get the water in the bulb, you just kind of like So there it's in there. And then what you want to do is put three drops of the um, solution three drops in here. And it'll turn blue. So there you go. This will go. I'm gonna. This will go into the aquarium. Like that. So I have the. Uh, drop checker right here and I'm going to put this on the far on the opposite side of where my CO2 comes out so let's see here you want to I mean water's not going to get in here but you want to just like stick it in there and then oops, suction it Suction it to the glass really good. And that will measure the CO2 after a couple hours. Hey guys, this is the drop checker. Um, after a couple of hours, um, I, I should say after a couple of hours of me cranking up the CO2 because uh, when I got home it was still kind of blue so I uh, increased the bubble count on my pressurized CO2 and uh, you know it's now really pretty green and uh, so now I'm at the correct amount of CO2 generation so that's what a drop tracker is supposed to do, make you adjust your CO2.